हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज श्रवंती वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनॉटिकल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन टेंपरेरी एंड परमानेंट हार्डनेस इन डिग्री ऑफ फ्रेंच एंड पार्ट्स पर मिलियन so before discuss this problem based on this temporary and permanent hardness of water we discuss first what is the meaning of temporary hardness so what is the meaning of hard water so generally water containing temporary hardness causing salts like calcium magnesium bicarbonates chlorides sulfates nitrates that means temporary hardness causing salts and permanent hardness causing salts present in water so when we treat it with soap it doesn't produce lather so that water is considered as hard water why is this water doesn't produce lather because of it containing hardness causing ions like uh, calcium magnesium ions of bicarbonates chlorides sulfates etc present in water so that's why when we treat it with soap it doesn't produce lather so this water is considered as hard water so there are two types of hard water temporary hardness of water and permanent hardness of water so what is the meaning of temporary hardness so temporary hardness mainly caused by the presence of dissolved bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium so this temporary hardness means it is caused by the presence of dissolved salts of by calcium bicarbonates and magnesium bicarbonates present in water so this water is considered as temporary hardness of water so this temporary hardness can be largely removed by boiling of water so if in case for example in that water temporary hard water is present calcium bicarbonate so calcium bicarbonate present in water so how can we remove this uh, calcium bicarbonates by boiling so during boiling process calcium bicarbonate starting these are dissolve in water these are soluble in water so during heating process this calcium bicarbonate is converted into calcium carbonate precipitates so white color precipitate when we are heating water in bowl for example in our homes so we observe that white color precipitate formed edges of the bowl that is called calcium bicarbonates or when we observe water heat during boiling process so in water heat edges also we we observe that white color precipitates so what is that called calcium or magnesium bicarbonate calcium bicarbonate present in water so this calcium bicarbonate starting this is soluble in water so during heating process this calcium bicarbonate soluble calcium bicarbonate is converted into insoluble calcium carbonate white color precipitates are formed so these are the byproducts of carbon dioxide in water so this precipitates we can remove by filtration for example in this water is present magnesium bicarbonate magnesium bicarbonate starting this is soluble in water these are soluble in water so how can we remove this calcium bicarbonate or magnesium bicarbonates so already we know that by boiling process easily we can remove temporary hardness causing salts so by heating process this calcium or magnesium by for example here we take magnesium bicarbonates present in water so during heating process this magnesium bicarbonate is converted into magnesium hydroxide and carbon dioxide so the soluble precipitate is converted into insoluble precipitates so in this way we can remove temporary hardness by boiling so there are two types of hardness of water one is temporary hardness and the other one is permanent hardness so temporary hardness means this water containing calcium magnesium bicarbonates so the, the temporary hardness easily we can remove by boiling we shall discuss permanent hardness so permanent hardness it is due to the presence of dissolved chlorides dissolved chlorides nitrates sulfates of calcium and magnesium and iron and other metals but most important is uh the permanent hardness mainly due to the presence of calcium magnesium chlorides sulfates nitrates present in water so this uh, permanent hardness responsible salts are for example here calcium chloride calcium chloride 
and magnesium chloride, calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, iron sulfate or aluminum sulfate. But most important is permanent hardness means it is due to the presence of calcium, magnesium and uh, chloride, sulfate, nitrates. So this permanent hardness cannot be removed by boiling. But temporary hardness we can remove by boiling. But it can be removed by the use of chemical agents like internal treatment methods or by scrubbing, by using scrubber or otherwise we are using some internal chem using chemicals such as for example colgan. If we are using these uh, chemicals internally, these uh, chemicals are dissolved, the sludge or scales or uh, precipitates which uh, are present in water, soluble in water and easily removed by filtration. So in this way there are two types of hardness, temporary hardness and permanent hardness. Temporary hardness mainly due to the presence of calcium, magnesium ions of bicarbonates and it can be easily removed by boiling. But in permanent hardness water, it is mainly present due to the presence of calcium, magnesium ions of chlorides, sulfates, nitrates present in water. So it can, we cannot, this permanent hardness we cannot be removed by boiling. But it can be removed by use of some chemical agents. And most important point is expression of hardness in terms of CaCO3 equivalent. This is most important for numerical point of view. So the expression of hardness producing salts usually expressed in terms of calcium carbonate equivalent amount or an equivalent amount of CaCO3. Because calcium carbonate is chosen as standard because why you prefer generally in water so many hardness causing cells present in it like calcium bicarbonate, magnesium bicarbonate, calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride, magnesium so, so many hardness causing cells present in water. But all hardness causing cells we can convert it into CaCO3 equivalent terms. Why because what is the reason? Uh, because its molecular weight is 100 and equivalent weight is 50. The molecular weight of calcium carbonate is 100 and equivalent weight of calcium carbonate is 50. So all numbers, so the calculation in water analysis, it can be simplified. So it makes calculation is very easy. So it is a most insoluble salt. So this calcium carbonate is most insoluble salt. So that can be precipitated in water treatment. So the conversion of the hardness causing salts into CaCO3 equivalents, it can be achieved by using this following formula. So what is the formula used for this uh, hardness causing salts converted into CaCO3 equivalent terms? So here amount of hardness causing salt, amount of hardness causing salt by molecular weight of hardness causing salt into 100. So here, what is the meaning of this one? All a hardness generally in water containing different types of hardness causing salts. So all these hardness causing salts converted into CaCO3 equivalent terms. Uh, because what is the reason why you have preferred only CaCO3? Because its molecular weight is 100 and equivalent weight is 50. So it makes calculation is very easy. Easily we can simplify water analysis calculations and one more important point is this calcium carbonate is highly insoluble in water it is highly insoluble in water and it can be precipitated in water treatment so how can we convert this hardness causing salts in CaCO3 equivalent terms so by using this formula so what is that amount of hardness causing salt by molecular weight of hardness causing salt into 100 for example, magnesium sulfate present in water, 20% of magnesium sulfate present in water. So amount of hardness causing salt present, uh, present in water is, amount of magnesium sulfate is 20. And molecular weight of hardness causing salt, for example, 120 molecular weight into 100. So in this way we can calculate the, uh, we can convert hardness causing salt into CaCO3 equivalent terms. Now let's discuss most important is molecular weight of hardness causing salts. It is important for numerical point of view. So generally commonly used hardness causing salts are 
For example, calcium bicarbonate, small molecular weight is 162. Magnesium bicarbonate, 146. Magnesium nitrate, 148. Magnesium sulfate, 120. And magnesium carbonate, 84. And magnesium chloride, 95. Calcium nitrate, 164. Calcium carbonate, 100. Calcium sulfate, 136. Calcium chloride, 111. And calcium, 40. And magnesium is 24. So all these are different different types of organic cells present in water. So before we can calculation this uh, problems uh, based on the temporary hardness of water and permanent hardness of water, you can remember the all molecular weights of this hardness causing source most important for numerical point of view. And all these hardness causing source we can convert it into CaCO3 equivalent terms because its molecular weight is 100 and equivalent weight is 50. So it makes calculation is very easy and one more important point is it is highly insoluble in water. So that's why all the hardness causing cells which are present in water which are given in the data first converted into calcium carbonate equivalent terms. After that only we can calculate the temporary hardness of water and permanent hardness of water and total hardness of water. So now we'll discuss numericals based on the temporary hardness and permanent hardness of water. So your first one is a sample of water is found to contain following dissolving salts in what are the units generally water milligram per liter or parts per million general units of water is milligram per liter parts per million and degree of clerk and degree of French. So generally these are the units of water. So in this here in this data it is given milligram per liter. So we can calculate it in milligram per liter. So a sample of water is found to contain following dissolved salts in milligram per liter. So here magnesium bicarbonate weight is 73. How much amount of magnesium bicarbonate present in water? 73 milligram per liter. And calcium chloride 111 milligrams, calcium bicarbonate 81 milligrams, and magnesium sulfate 40, magnesium chloride 95. So calculate the temporary and permanent hardness and total hardness of water. So what are the hardness causing cells present in water according to data? Magnesium carbonate, calcium chloride, calcium bicarbonate. Magnesium sulfate, magnesium chloride. So first all these hardness causing salts converted into calcium carbonate equivalent terms or amount of equivalent to CaCO3. So in this case first you can write in here the name of the hardness causing salt is magnesium bicarbonate. How much percent is present in, the, uh, in this data? 73. Here magnesium bicarbonate how much weight, what is the weight of magnesium bicarbonate present in water? 73 and molecular weight of magnesium bicarbonate is 146 molecular weight of magnesium bicarbonate is 146 so then, then we can convert it into calcium carbonate equivalent so what is the formula generally we are using amount of hardness causing salt by molecular weight of hardness causing salt into 100. This is the formula used for this hardness causing salts converted into equivalent terms just now we discussed already. So here amount of hardness causing salt, amount of magnesium bicarbonate is 73 by molecular weight of magnesium bicarbonate is 146 into 100 it's equal to 50 milligram per liter milligram per liter the same way you can convert it calcium chloride calcium bicarbonate magnesium sulfate and magnesium chloride what are given in that data so calcium chloride so what is the amount how much amount per, present in that water 111 
and molecular weight of calcium chloride is 111. So then convert into CaCO3, 111 total amount of organic calcium chloride present in water is 111 by molecular weight of organic causing salt is 111 that means calcium chloride molecular weight into 100 is equal 100. And next calcium bicarbonate, calcium bicarbonate. So its weight is 81 present in water. So what is the molecular weight of calcium bicarbonate? 162. So you can substitute in this formula. <coughs> so amount of calcium bicarbonate present in water. So it is a 81. And molecular weight of calcium bicarbonate is 162 into 100. Then you get 50. And next magnesium sulfate. Weight is 40. And molecular weight of magnesium sulfate is 120. So substitute in this formula we will get 33.3. 33.3. And next magnesium chloride. How much amount of magnesium chloride present in water? 95. So 95. And molecular weight of magnesium chloride is 95. So it is equal 95 by 95 into 100. It is equal 100. So first all the hardness causing salts whatever present given in the data. So all these are converted into <coughs> calcium carbonate equivalent terms. Why we, we converted all these in CaCO3 equivalent? Because calcium carbonate uh, molecular weight is 100, equivalent weight is 50 and it is highly insoluble in water. So it makes calculation is very easy or simplify the water analysis calculations. So that's why all the hardness causing salts present in water. So all are converted into CaCO3 equivalent terms. Now we can calculate the temporary hardness, permanent hardness and total hardness. So what are the temporary hardness causing salts present in, in the data? Calcium and magnesium bicarbonates. Calcium bicarbonate and magnesium bicarbonate. So these salts after converting CaCO3 equivalent terms will get the value of uh, magnesium bicarbonate is 50 and calcium bicarbonate is 50. So temporary hardness causing salts present in water, temporary hardness of water is 100 milligram per liter. 100 milligram per liter. Now you can calculate the permanent hardness of water. So how can you calculate the permanent hardness of water? So first hardness causing salts converted into CaCO3 equivalent terms. After that, we can identify the permanent hardness causing salts like calcium, magnesium, chloride, sulfates or nitrates present in water. So in that according to data, it's present permanent hardness causing salts are calcium chloride, magnesium sulfate and magnesium chloride. So after conversion, we will get the values of calcium chloride is 100, magnesium sulfate is 33.3 and magnesium chloride is 100. So after addition, we will get permanent hardness of water is 233.3 milligrams per liter. 233 milligrams per liter. And next we will calculate the total hardness. Total hardness means temporary hardness of water plus permanent hardness of water. So temporary hardness of water is 100 milligrams per liter and permanent hardness of water is 233.3 milligrams per liter. So after addition, we will get total hardness of water is 333.3 milligrams per liter. So in this way, we can calculate the temporary and permanent and total hardness of water. So in that, first we converted all the hardness causing salts into calcium carbonate equivalent terms. This is the first step. So in that purpose, you should remember the molecular weights of hardness causing salts. Next second one is, you can calculate the temporary hardness and permanent hardness and total hardness of water. First you can identify the what are the salts, temporary hardness, what are the permanent hardness causing salts. Then you can calculate the total hardness of water. Next one more problem we'll discuss. A sample of water is found to contain following dissolving salt in milligram per liter. Here also given the units of water is milligram per liter. So here magnesium bicarbonate percentage is 16.8. Magnesium bicarbonate is 
16.8 and magnesium chloride is 12.0 magnesium chloride is 12 and magnesium sulfate is 29.6 mg per liter and sodium chloride is 5 mg per liter so calculate the temporary and permanent hardness of water so here name of the hardness column sir so we are preparing the data in that name of the hardness column sir present in water are magnesium bicarbonate magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate and sodium chloride so how much amount of this hardness column sir present in water so here magnesium bicarbonate is 16.8 and magnesium chloride is 12 mg per liter and magnesium sulfate is 29.6 and sodium chloride is 5 5 mg per liter present in water according to data so what is the molecular weights of this hardness causing salts so magnesium bicarbonate hardness uh, molecular weight is 146 and magnesium chloride molecular weight is 95 and magnesium sulfate molecular weight is 120 and here nacl its molecular weight is 56.6 but here nacl does not contribute any hardness to water so hence it is ignored if in case this percentage given in that uh, data we can ignore because it is not a uh, hardness causing salts so do not involve in this hardness so we can ignore that value if in case present in water now we can calculate the amount of uh, all the hardness columns as converted into amount of equivalent to cacso3 mg per liter so what is the formula Amount of equivalent to CaCO3 is equal weight of hardness causing salt, weight of hardness causing salt by molecular weight of hardness causing salt into. And we just now discussed already how to convert this all as causing salt into CaCO3 equivalent terms. So first, magnesium bicarbonate weight uh, given in the data is 16.8 by what is the molecular weight of uh, magnesium bicarbonate? 146. So 16.8 by 146 into 100, you get 11.50. 11.50. 11 And next, we can convert it into magnesium chloride in CaCO3 equivalent terms. So weight of magnesium chloride is 12. By molecular weight of magnesium chloride is 95 into 100. So after calculation, we get 12.63. 12.63. Next, magnesium sulfate weight is 29.6, and molecular weight of magnesium sulfate is 120 into 100. So after calculation, we get 24.66. And next NaCl, we cannot convert CaCO3 equivalent term because it is not contribute to any hardness to water. So hence it is ignored. We cannot consider. So in this way, we can convert all the hardness causing salts into CaCO3 equivalent. Next, we can calculate the temporary and permanent hardness of water. So what are the temporary hardness causing salts present in water? In the according to data. magnesium bicarbonate only magnesium bicarbonates and permanent hardness causing salts first we can identify whatever given in the data what are the temporary hardness causing salts and what are the permanent hardness causing salts present in that data or given problem so magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate are the permanent hardness causing salts so now we can calculate the temporary and permanent hardness of water So temporary hardness causing salts present in that uh, water is magnesium bicarbonate only. So its value is 11.50 milligram per liter. And next you can calculate the permanent hardness of water. So permanent hardness causing salts present in water according to data is magnesium chloride and magnesium sulfate. So magnesium chloride value is 12.63 and magnesium sulfate is 24.66. So after calculation we we'll get 37.29 milligrams per liter so temporary hardness of water is 11.50 milligrams per liter and permanent hardness of water is 37.29 milligrams per liter
next one more problem we'll discuss based on that temporary hardness and permanent hardness of water in a degree of clerks and degree of french so here a sample of water is found to contain following analytical data following analytical data in milligrams per liter so here magnesium bicarbonate is 14.6 magnesium bicarbonate is 14.6 and magnesium chloride is 9.5 and magnesium sulfate is 6 and calcium bicarbonate is 16.2 so now calculate the temporary and permanent hardness of water in ppm and degree of clerk and degree of french so generally these are the units of hardness of water parts per million milligram per liter degree of clerk degree of french so first we can converted the all the hardness columns of whatever given in that data we convert it into amount of equivalent to cscu3 and next one is we can calculate the temporary hardness of water in permanent hardness of water after that we can convert it into uh, the hardness in parts per million and degree of clerk and degree of french so now we can calculate the solution is uh, first name of the hardness columns as present in water is magnesium bicarbonate magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate and calcium bicarbonate so how much amount percent how much amount of the is hardness columns as present in water according to data so magnesium bicarbonate is 14.6 magnesium chloride is 9.5 and magnesium sulfate is 6 calcium bicarbonate is 16.2 now what are the molecular weights of all the hardness columns as you can write here so magnesium bicarbonate molecular weight is 146 magnesium chloride molecular weight is 95 magnesium sulfate molecular weight is 120 and calcium bicarbonate molecular weight is 162 so in this conversion purpose all the molecular weights of this hardness causing salts is most important so that's what we discussed previously so now we can converted all the hardness causing salts into amounts of equivalent to cacio3 in milligram per liter so what are the formula used for this weight of hardness causing salt by molecular weight of hardness causing salt into 100 here weight of the hardness causing salt means how much amount weight present is that hardness causing salt in that water according to data by molecular weight of that hardness causing salt into 100 is the molecular weight of cacio3 molecular weight of cacio3 so by using this formula all the hardness columns salts we can convert it into cacio3 equivalent terms so first we converted magnesium bicarbonate so what is the weight how much weight present present in what water 14.6 by molecular weight of magnesium bicarbonate is 146 into 100 so equal 10 10 mg per liter uh, now we can convert to magnesium chloride in cacio3 equivalent terms so what is the weight of magnesium chloride 9.5 so weight of magnesium chloride is 9.5 and molecular weight of magnesium chloride is 95 by 100 so it's equal 10 and next magnesium sulfate weight is 6 given the data and molecular weight of magnesium sulfate is 120 into 100 6 by 120 into 100 it's equal 5 and last one is calcium bicarbonate weight of the calcium bicarbonate is 16.2 we can substitute it in this formula 16.2 by molecular weight of calcium bicarbonate is 162 into 100 so it's equal 10 so in this way we can converted all the hardness causing salts into cacio3 equivalent by using this formula weight of hardness causing salt by 
molecular weight of ordinance causing salt into 100. This is the first step. Next, second step is you can have, you can identify the temporary hardness causing salts and permanent hardness causing salts. So, what are the temporary hardness causing salts? Calcium or magnesium bicarbonates. Here, this calcium bicarbonate and magnesium bicarbonate are the temporary hardness causing salts. And after conversion in CaCO3 equivalents, we will get values 10, 10. And permanent hardness causing salts are magnesium chloride and magnesium sulfate present in water. So, values are 10 and 5. So, after identification of this uh, temporary hardness causing salts and permanent hardness causing salts, then we can calculate the temporary hardness, permanent hardness of water. So, temporary hardness causing salts present in that water according to data. So, magnesium bicarbonate and calcium bicarbonate present in temporary hard water. And after conversion, what is the value of magnesium bicarbonate and calcium bicarbonate? In CaCO3 equivalent term, 10 plus 10. It's equal 20 milligram per liter. So, temporary hardness of given water is 20 milligram per liter. So, then you can convert it into degree of clerk and degree of French. So, what is the basic relationship first? 1 ppm equals 1 milligram per liter and it is equal 0 0.07 clerk degree and it is equal 0 0.1 French degree. This is the basic uh, relationship between all the units of hardness of water. So, here you can calculate temporary hardness in milligram per liter. So, your temporary hardness of given water is 20 milligram per liter. So, 20 milligram per liter is equal how many ppms? So, mathematically this milligram per liter and um, parts per million both are equal. So, 20 milligram per liter is equal 20 ppm. And you can, how can converted clerk's degree? So, 20 into 0 0.07 clerk's degree. It is equal 1.4 clerk's degree. And how are going to convert a French degree? So, 20 into 0 0.1 is equal to French degrees. So, temporary hardness is 20 milligram per liter. It is equal how many ppm? 20 ppm. And it is equal 1.4 clerk degree and 2 French degrees. And next you can calculate the permanent hardness of water. So, what are the permanent hardness causing salts present in that water, given water? Magnesium chloride and magnesium sulfate. Magnesium chloride and magnesium sulfate. So, values of the conversion in CaCO3 equivalent terms, you get magnesium chloride value is 10 and magnesium sulfate is 5. So, 10 plus 5 is equal 15 milligram per liter. So, then we convert it into this permanent hardness in ppm, degree of clerk degree of French. So, 15 milligram per liter equal 15 ppm and it is equal to how many clerk's degrees? 15 into 0 0.07 it is equal 1.05 clerk's degree. Then convert it into French degrees. So, 15 into 0 0.1 French degrees it is equal 1.5 French degrees. So, permanent hardness equal 15 milligram per liter it is equal 15 ppm and it is equal 1.05 clerk degree and 1.5 French degree. So, in this way you can convert it uh, total hardness and temporary hardness and permanent hardness in degree of clerk, degree of French and parts per million. So, today's session we will learn about uh, what is temporary hardness, what is permanent hardness and uh, what are the molecular weight of hardness causing salts. Uh, problems based on this temporary hardness and permanent hardness of water. So, all the problems based on the temporary hardness and permanent hardness, first we should remember all the molecular weights of hardness causing salts. After that, we can convert it into CaCO3 equivalent terms and after that, we can identify the hardness causing salts. Then, we can calculate the temporary hardness and permanent hardness. After that, finally, we can convert it into degree of clerk or degree of French, whatever given in that data. So, I hope understood all. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.